Hey, what's up guys? Making another vlog video. I am actually off today. I had to work a five day work week and everything like that, but other than that, everything is going well. Um, get to relax today, get to do some reading, everything like that. Um, it's been a while since I actually got to sit down and actually read. Let me show you guys what I'm reading. This book right here, I mean, it's, it's backwards, but uh, you can see it's called Clean, Overcoming Addiction, Ending America's Great Tragedy. Really good book. This book is by David Schiff. He is author, also the author of The Beautiful Boy. Um, pretty good guy, seems like, from what I read. It says David Schiff is an author of several books, including the first New York Times bestseller, Beautiful Boy. His writing has appeared in New York Times, New York Times Magazine, Rolling Stones, Wired, and many other publications. He is uh, he's an ongoing researcher and reporter of science of addiction, and and he has a place on the Time Magazine's top list. So, really good. Um, he talks about uh, he talks about his boy, um, one of his sons getting um, getting addicted to drugs. Um, started out when he smoked marijuana, and he moved up from there. And he researches and trying, like he this guy does constant research. Um, basically, of uh, you know, addiction. He sits in like um, therapy sessions, counseling sessions. Um, he interviews. He was in the neighborhoods with with drugs. Um, basically, he does. He tries to find you know what works and what doesn't work. Um, basically, you know, try to find you know cure for this disease because addiction is an illness and everything like that. It's a constant illness. And, it can affect friends and family and everything like that. So, um, if you find somebody that is addicted, you know, to drugs, you know, help them. They need support systems. Basically, if somebody doesn't have a support system, then they're probably gonna, they're probably not gonna get motivated to pursue the treatment that they need and everything like that. So, it's important to not give up somebody that that's addicted to drugs. It might be your family members, it might be your friends, it might be, you know people that are close to you and don't let, don't let their addiction get out of control help them before it gets to death like there's two reasons why people change is when they hit rock bottom and they decide to change before they hit rock bottom so try to be that support system for them so they can keep going keep motivated if not they'll fall into addictive behaviors addictive behaviors is like rationalizing minimizing uh making excuses for themselves so it's important to help them push through the obstacles and barriers in their path to pursue great things in their lives. Um, I wanted to start out, you know, the blog session like that, the blog, because I figure, you know, it's a good book to read and, you know, hopefully it helps people, you know, helps people through what they're going through and everything like that. Uh, you can pick up the book at Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, just the typical, typical places and, you know, it's good to read upon, you know, information like that to understand it a little bit better because a lot of people don't see addiction as illness. They see it as a rational choice. I don't believe in that. I believe it's an illness and it affects, um, it's an illness by the diagnostic statistical manual and, you know, it can affect a lot of people. So it's good to, it's, you know, good to have an understanding of what it is and, you know, how it affects people and how it's spreading and we need to put, to put it out like the fire it, it, fire it is. Um, update on my son. My son is hopefully it will come this week, probably. Cross your fingers. Um, Holly's been having a lot, my wife has been having a lot of um, labor symptoms, so hopefully, cross your fingers, we get to get to meet my son for for the first time this week and everything like that. So, but uh, we have everything prepared, everything ready. Um, we just need to have him here and. And I see everybody else having their babies and everything, and I'm, I'm ready, prepared to be that father for my son and everything like that. So, so it's good to, good to be prepared. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes sometimes they say like fathers freeze or flight kind of their deal. And I think I'm ready because, you know, 26 years old and everything. I'm ready for my son to be here, and because I don't want to be 50 years old and when he's like a teenager and you know try to throw a football and everything in my. Uh, my shoulder gives out or you know something like that so you know it's good because I think I'm because I have my master's degree um, we have our own place uh, 
I wrote my first book, and you know, I'm kind of, I like, I think I'm prepared. So we'll see what happens. Um, I've been reading a lot of baby books um, to understand things, but a lot of my people, one of my friends tell me that, you know, it'll come naturally to me. So, but I want to be prepared, you know, how to change a diaper, how to prepare milk and everything like that, how to do the basic fathering skills, but, you know, we'll see. You know, I can use the stuff I learned plus natural instincts. So, so to prepare, you know, teach him and everything, um, develop his personality because they say like a person's personality develops from newborn until five years old. That's their core personality, and everything after five years old, they, that's what they throw on top of it. So, I want my son to have a good core personality. Um, develop it pretty well, you know, teach him a lot of good stuff so he can, you know, understand the world a lot more better and everything like that, so. But I want him to make the, the right decisions. Um, I want him to learn that if he does fail, he, like, he can learn from it and move on from it because, you know, life is basically making choices for ourselves, you know, making choices, you know, for our lives, making the right choices, and we can't let decisions define us you know what I mean? We make decisions, don't let the decisions make you. So I'm hoping, you know, everything goes well, you know, for him to be safe safe coming here. Um, probably going to take a couple of days off from, like, eight days, nine days off from work. So help take care of him, you know, help my wife, you know, take care of him, you know, prepare myself, you know. You know, it's good to, good to bring him in, in here right, you know what I mean, make him comfortable because he's part of the family so I can't wait for for him to be here and you know just take care of him and be the best father I possibly can be so um, hopefully everything goes well for you guys um, my book's going really well uh, just I have a friend that's actually um, editing it for me right now uh, and as soon as it's edited I'm gonna turn it into the publishing company and you know, just see what they see what they think of it. You know what I mean? They said they're gonna publish it for two hundred bucks, so two ninety or something like that. I think a little bit more, but um, I was looking at other publishing companies, and there were seven thousand dollars actually published a book. So I was like, I have faith in my book, but not that much faith for paying seven thousand dollars to publish it. So we'll see how this first book goes, and you know, I'm, I'm I want to write more. But I'm going to see how my first novel goes so I can, you know, write more and for it to be successful and everything like that. So, so cross your fingers, you know, the book's called Mind Rocks. Really good book. When it's published, I'll write a good review, like, a, like basically an introduction to it on here. Like, don't talk about it and to get you guys excited for it. So, I don't want to give too much information away because I want you guys to read it. So... So we'll, we'll go from there, and you can let you guys read it, and you guys can give your own take on it. So, and uh, because it was a really good creative idea that I had, and I have so many creative ideas that go through my mind today. It's unbelievable. You can even ask, you can even ask my wife. So, but I uh, hope everything goes well for you guys. Um, hope you guys have a good week. I'll try to post some more videos on here and give you guys a good understanding of things and uh you know get that book it's a really good book um i might actually put some more book reviews on here as i you know continue reading so hope you guys have a good day um beautiful outside i don't know how it is at your guys' cities and towns and states but uh it's not bad here and uh subscribe to my videos leave me a like destroy that like button you know subscribe to my videos and not take care of you guys subscribe and show you some really good educational content and other kind of videos so you peace have a good week and you know see you th see you then